Have you ever used a program for heat maps on your website? If not, and if you're interested in learning more, then this video is definitely for you. We're going to be comparing Hotjar and Crazy Egg, which are two platforms that allow you to see heat maps of where your users are hanging out on your site. Very useful information. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the back end of Hotjar. Um, as you can see, the left hand bar is where you sort of navigate to the different features, heat maps, recordings, funnels, and forms. There are also some different options for user feedback. This is perhaps the um, most important area, which is the actual heat maps, and the way we'll show you our actual page. Um, this first one here is actually showing the clicks and you can see the um, areas up near the top of our page and our uh, navigation menu is where most of our clicks are. Then this other layout here is called the scroll and that shows you where people are scrolling on the page. Um, the more red areas are where the most users are seeing and then it gets progressively more blue as the number of users uh, decreases. So as expected, the bottom areas of pages are typically more blue, um, but that information is really helpful when you are creating landing pages and want to see where users are getting to. This next feature is the actual screen recordings. And this is really neat because it shows the location of the user, the pages that they came in on, exited on, how many pages they saw, and how long they were on your site. And when you go ahead and click play, you can literally see an exact recording of their screen. This is everything that they did on your site. And that white cursor there with the yellow circle is that user's cursor. So you can see exactly what they're doing with their mouse. Um, that mouse that's moving right now is mine to show sort of the list of actions here where you can see what elements the user clicked on and any other actions taken during their visit. This information is really useful to see if there's anything that users are spending a significant amount of time on um, and you just want to make sure that that's aligned with some with things that you would like for them to spend time on. If they are getting stuck at a particular point in anywhere in your site, um, that should become evident in these screen recordings and you're seeing people um, spending a little bit more time in, in one place rather than another or clicking around um, more radically, that will definitely give you a good amount of information so that you can know sort of how to move forward and what areas you should be working on. Um, this is a blog article that this user is reading, so we are very happy that they are spending time on this article so that they are reading and we're seeing them scroll and um, it's very... It's, it's fun to get to see how people are actually genuinely using the site. Um, this next feature is called Forms, and this is similar where you will be able to see where people are struggling on your site. Um, if there are any forms that your users need to fill out, you'd be able to have information about which fields took more time, which fields maybe people left blank, and that may be, be beneficial information for you um, to further optimize your forms. Then these options down here are for user feedback. And these are actually pop-ups that display on your site. It's nice because you can get some genuine feedback from users who are actually on your site. Uh, they can fill out surveys, they can fill out polls, um, and just genuinely give you real user data. And quite possibly the best feature about Hotjar is that the basic plan is free forever. 
up to 2,000 page views a day. Um, you get three pages of heat maps and you get up to 100 different screen recordings. Um, after that, there are different plans depending on how many pages you are getting per day. Okay, so Crazy Egg structurally on the back end looks very similar to Hotjar. Um, they use the term snapshots instead of heat maps on their menu. One of the biggest differences between Crazy Egg and Hotjar is that the heat maps are broken down by device and within Hotjar you're able to sort of toggle between devices but within Crazy Egg each of the devices is listed as a different page so that sort of triples the amount of pages here that you are looking at. So this is the heat map and this is also very significantly different than Hotjar. So what Crazy Egg is showing you is actually the percentage of time that users spent on different areas of your page. So rather than just showing you what parts of your page they viewed, it's showing you and breaking down the percentage of time spent on each individual section of your page. And this is phenomenally helpful when you are trying to look at what parts are most compelling of your pages and what people tend to scroll over. You're much better able to make educated decisions on what features are necessary or unnecessary. And then the scroll map is looks very similar to the heat maps but is also set up in the way where you are seeing where folks are spending most of their time. Those red, yellow, and white portions are where most of the users are spending most of their time. And so this view is, is very similar to that heat map, um, but it just shows where people are scrolling, which areas they are scrolling right past, and where they actually are spending their time reading and watching. And then lastly, there is a confetti view, which shows you the user's clicks. Very helpful information, um, similar to that of Hotjar. Then the screen recordings are going to be more or less identical to those within Hotjar, but the main difference here is that you're getting a little bit less information about the user. It does not tell you where they came from, um, or what other pages they may have viewed during their time, um, though you are able to see that within the actual recording. And this is quite possibly the biggest difference between the platforms, is that Crazy Egg offers A-B testing. And I can't stress enough how important A-B testing is when you are looking to make changes to your site. You are going to be able to test things against each other and see what is most effective and that type of testing is excellent. Um, there are also surveys managed by SurveyMonkey uh, similar to that of Hotjar. And lastly the pricing. Crazy Egg is $24 a month. It gives you 30,000 page views, unlimited A-B testing, and 100 recordings. It's a pretty great deal. Generally, these two platforms are pretty comparable in terms of their functionality, but the fact that Crazy Egg is $24 a month um, might be a little bit limiting if you are just getting started, so Hotjar is absolutely what we would recommend for companies who are just getting started and aren't yet ready to invest in this type of testing. But once you are ready, it's definitely worth making the switch over to Crazy Egg solely because of those A-B testing abilities. That is just something that you won't be able to find at a more affordable rate. And it's tremendously valuable for any entrepreneur to be able to split test things and ensure that all of what you're putting out there is going to be as effective as possible. Pretty cool stuff, huh? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave us a comment down below. We'd be happy to chat. We'll talk to you soon.
Thanks.